playing with the full screen and hotkey um, for the Far Cry? Uh, F11? The green thing on the upper left. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's Command, Shift, Enter. There we go, never mind. All set, we're good, I'm close enough. Hobson Lane, uh, Mind Current, uh, .io, building chatbots, uh, or uh, coaches for um, helping people manage their stress. Also, um, working at UCSD as an instructor uh, for the extension course on data science for um, healthcare, or for uh, digital health, they call it. And so, it, we have, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the things I've learned in, in the course of getting ready for that course, and. Um, how we can apply natural language processing, which is really my expertise, not medicine, and how we can apply that to DNA and RNA and protein sequences. Um, and chatbots can actually, I'm going to have my TA be a chatbot in the course. So um, if you want to learn bioinformatics for real, then you can take this course uh, coming up in January, and this discount code will give you $100 off. Um, and, um, and you can register there at that. Um, thank you, Travis. So most of the work, that you, most of the really interesting stuff you're going to see today was put together by Travis. Um, he uh, he trained a transformer. Well, he didn't train a transformer. He just used a pre-trained transformer. But he uh, he found some clever clever examples. Um, so I'm going to talk about a QA bot first, um, uh, a question answering bot that can answer questions about um, bioinformatics uh, to be my TA. So they so they can answer all the questions without, without me having to. I'm my phone and help the hook. So um, the, uh, it's, uh, you just feed it a glossary and it's gonna be able to answer what is a, such, such as what is an allele, what is a nucleotide, um, and it should be able to answer that question. The state of the art and question answering just took a big leap forward recently. Um, so to the, the lady's uh, question about how, when are we gonna have uh, uh, an assistant that can actually answer, us, answer questions about what's going wrong with our code, we're not that far away now. Um, we just had a, a just this year, uh, Bert uh, was, and was trained on an augmented data set on the Wiki QA problem, and uh, and and blew away all the previous models. And you can see we've been hovering around 70% accuracy for decades, and uh, only recently we've popped up to above 90%. Um, and this is a fully generative uh, question answering bot. It's really amazing, and you can see an example of it. Uh, Basic search QA is the way that I am employing within my um, uh, chatbot. So this is where you search for a question within a database. And you have it's a, it's a frequently asked questions list of all the questions that people might ask. And you just reply with the, the, the match for that um, associated answer in your database. Um, and can anybody think of an appropriate data structure for this sort of thing? Um, if you're not going to use a database, you're just going to use a Python data structure. So dictionary. Cool. Awesome. Uh, keep, keep in mind whether you got these questions right, if you yelled out the right answer, um, at the end I'll be able to give away a free book. I don't have any free t-shirts, so I can't throw anything at you, but, uh, <laughs> but I will be able to give you a, a discount code that will give you a free copy of the book. Uh, if you get them all right. If, if you get them all right and nobody else does. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, infinite search QA. This is a, a bit more advanced version of that search question answering. Uh, what you do here is you translate the question into an, uh, a statement, of course with the answer words missing out of the statement, and then you uh, go through all the sentences on Wikipedia and look for those words in that order in, that, uh, in those sentences. So another really pretty straightforward, you can use classic um, normal indexing approaches, just like the index in the back of your textbook where it just looks up words and finds those sentences and you can quickly, and, um, and these are both scalable algorithms that happen in log n time. The number of documents you have to search, you can find it in, in, less, 